Hi everyone, welcome back to the Capacities YouTube channel. Today we have a really exciting video all about, as you probably guessed, the Capacities and Raycast integration. This is a new paid feature which we are super excited about because essentially it just powers your usage of Capacities because you can add things to Capacities, search Capacities and open Capacities all from this simple Raycast window. So in this video, I'll show you how to set this up and I'll show you what the extension can do because it's going to change your capacities game if you are a Mac user and therefore have access to Raycast. So let's get started looking at how we install it. So I'm on the Raycast website now. I'm going to open the store and I'm going to search for capacities. You can see here that there are some screenshots of everything we'll be discussing today. Um, some information about how to use everything and just an install button here. So click install extension and then open Raycast and again when prompted install the extension. Now in order to use any of the commands we need to set up the API first. The API has just been released and it's currently in beta it's going to still be developed more and change over time. Um, so whilst it's in this state, it is a paid plan only. So for those of you on paid plans, you can open up capacities, perhaps with Raycast, and open up your settings. In the settings, there is a section here called features, and you want to click where it says the capacities API. And of course, there are links here to the docs if you would like to learn more about it. But all you need to do in order for this Raycast extension to work is to create a token. So I'm just going to call mine Raycast and click generate. And then I'm going to copy what it says and put it into Raycast. Please read this warning very carefully. Okay, so I've generated my token and I have copied it. Obviously it's hidden for privacy reasons, but now what I can do is open up Raycast again, type in capacities and try to run a command. Of course, I run into the API key part, but I can press paste and continue with command enter and that is it it's set up now it's time to play with it and show you all the cool things that it can do so as you can see i've opened raycast and these are the command options that i have it's either open the app or run one of these few commands here we're going to focus on the top four because synchronized data is just something you can do to refresh the connection if it doesn't seem to be syncing. For example, if you've changed the name of a space, just click synchronize data, it will refresh and you can carry on with your usage. So let's start with save web link. So let's say I want to remember to browse the Raycast blog later. What I can do is open Raycast. Again, my shortcut for this is command space, but you might have a different one. And I can type save in. Saving the web link, if I click enter, is going to automatically pull that link into Raycast and I can use tab to navigate through the boxes. So I'm going to add an inbox tab and I'm going to choose for it to go to my notes space. And then I'm going to do command enter and that is going to go to capacities. But how can I prove that? What I can do is command space type open space and open notes. And now if I click on my inbox tag, you can see that there is a web link here that has been added with that tag. And if I go back to my daily note, that has been created today. And all of that was done with capacities closed from the Raycast website through the extension. I've closed capacities again and the same idea occurs with the daily note. So I can command space, type saved daily note and then say again, define which space it goes to and save. Open space, notes and we'll give it a couple of seconds and it will arrive in capacities. There we go. Now that has created a brand new object. It has told me at what time it came in from, and this is your Raycast icon to say that's where it originated. But think about how powerful this is. You can be in any app, 
anywhere on your MacBook. And if there is something that you want to add two capacities to your daily note, all you need to do is run that command. And there's actually an even faster way to get there. And I will show you that shortly. So we have briefly looked at saving web links, opening space and saving to daily notes. And the final one is searching your content. So if I just click enter here to load that, this is a title only search of every single object in capacities if you've toggled on the all spaces option. You can just choose to search one and if I type in para, you can see that I have three objects whose titles include the term para and the search results are labeled with which object it is. So if I know it's about the article that we'll be publishing very soon about that, I can use my arrows and the enter key to choose the correct result and click enter and that takes me to capacities to this exact object. Again, this is incredibly powerful. If you are in flow and you're working and you think I need this specific thing from capacities, just from your keyboard, you can search for it, load it, find what you want and then go back to whatever you were doing before. Now, that's not all. What you can do in your Raycast settings is apply aliases and hotkeys. You can add them for your capacities commands as well. So let's say that I want to just be able to type space and have open space come up and equally web link for that. You can simply add these aliases in. If I then close that, open Raycast with command space and type space, the command has come up a lot faster because of that alias. Same for web link. You can also record hotkeys. So if you want to get to your daily notes super fast, you can record a hotkey. I would do command D. And if I close that, without even having to open Raycast, command D opens up the window in which I can put the information I want for my daily notes. Saved daily notes. Space. Enter notes and there we go i've probably said this a lot of times in this video but this is so powerful and it's also very customizable but if you want a way for capacities to really be the center of your macbook of the way that you work but power it further than the app itself already is raycast is probably the way to do that and you can customize it to make sure it fits your workflows so you are getting the most out of your work and your capacities and your laptop every day that you're on it. If you have any questions about this, obviously please let us know. We've linked to the docs in the description box which show you each of the commands in a bit more detail, but have fun playing around with this and enjoying a more productive way of working on your laptop because this integration will certainly give you that.